right, so we've got an older Panelview 1000 that we're gonna have to communicate to. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick walk through how to do this. First off, we've got our USB to serial converter. This is our 9300 USB. And then the oh, mother of pearl. This is, <laughs> this is a DB9 to a DB9 serial cable. And this one is specifically for our application. So this is a 2711 NC13. The 13 or the 14 will work. They're just different length cables. We've got that one also. So this is specifically for the 2711 T10C8 or any of the DH plus communication, um, uh, communication model, modules. Models? Models. So this one, its primary communication is DH plus. And this is actually your printer port, but on these DH plus ones, you can use this for transferring the application, either that, or you've got a memory card slot. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in there all nice and deep-like. Next, we're gonna come over here to RS Links, and we're gonna set up our drivers. So go ahead to communication and configure drivers. That's going to come up here and it's going to show us the uh, adapters we already have. So we're going to start as if you're starting from scratch. Go ahead and delete that one. Now we're going to add a new one. So with our, whatever our adapter model number was, our 9303 or 9300, I think, this is going to be um, from that drop down list of available driver types. And we're going to go to RS232 DF1 device, the second one from the top. Add new, doesn't matter what you name it. And then your COM port, you've got to select from your device manager. If you don't know which one it is, type in your little search box down there, device, and it will pull up device manager. Look at that. And then we're gonna be looking over here under the ports, COM and LPT. And that is our USB serial comm. So if you unplug it, you'll see it'll go away. Go back into our, uh, I think you'll have to, yeah, we don't have any. Plug that back in, it'll pop up with your USB serial port. So we know we're COM3, perfect. So now we're gonna go back over to our driver and set that as COM3. After you've got your COM port set, we're gonna go to our device. This is very important. If you pick the wrong one, your laptop will blow up. I'm just kidding. So go to SLC-CHO. You see it says panel view on the end. Bingo, bango. Select that guy. And then we're gonna to go to our baud rate. Put that as 19.2 to match our settings from the panel view. And then hit auto configure. Look at that. So the one thing that you've got to make sure of is that if you've got X on, X off, your air checking is CRC. But as long as you've got it set up right on the panel view, hitting auto configure will work. Go ahead and hit okay. And now you can hit close and you'll see our new driver is the ABDF1 DH485. Look at that, panel view comes up. Now the next thing you need is panel builder. So again, in our search box here, we're gonna type in panel. Look at that, panel builder 32. If you don't have this application, this is gonna make this tough. You can also use the transfer utility if you have that. Panel builder is free and as long as you saved your uh, install file from 75 years ago, this won't be a problem. Okay, so <laughs> what we wanna do is upload an application from a panel view terminal right down there. Click that, and then we're gonna hit OK. And it's gonna open up another box over here. And you can see at the top, upload application to disk. It gives you an area to put it. And then we're gonna do transfer type as RS Links Network. And then all of the preset values, those are fine. And then you can see down here, our ABDF1 DH485 right there. So we're gonna click on that heading, the ABDF1, and then in the right, we're gonna select our PV1000C. 
and then hit OK. So that's going to pop up another window here. And you see it has identified the terminal, preparing file transfer, and then look at what it says. Terminal has no file available. Perfect. So we knew that this didn't have a file in it. I was just showing you guys the communication setup. So we're going to go to cancel here because we know that there's no file in it. It's a brand new blank panel view. But what we're going to do is use this to scrape the program from an existing panel view, and then we're going to download to the new one so we've got a backup. So we're going to go to file, I believe. And we're going to go... Maybe it's under edit. We're looking for download. Tools, maybe? Nope. Let's try it again. Let's just close Panel Builder and reopen it because it gives us that prompt. And now we're going to select Download an Application to a Panel View Terminal. So the same thing comes up, and we're just going to pick a file. So, go so we're just going to download one of these programs that we've got. Let's do Removed Acid Nomenclature. Open. There you go. So now it's going to download that to the panel view. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So that's the wrong application for it. <laughs> that's what I was worried of because it's for a different panel view. Perfect. All right. So you get the idea. But it's pretty easy to use with Panel Builder 32. There's also a transfer utility you can use, but...